a double. Grounded into center field for a base hit. So the Bucks get a man on with one out as Willie picks up his third hit of the day and his seventh in the series. Into the sixth inning, Pirates leading by a run. Stargell drives it deep to center. Go ball. That ball is gone. Congratulations, Richard Bournemouth. Home run for Willie Stargell on a 1-0 pitch from Eddie Solomon. Solomon's first pitch was up and in, and Stargell hits the next one. Defensively, but when Stargell comes up, and uh, Parker running, the ball punched to left. Drops for a base hit. Parker turns, goes to third. So you've got two mountain of men at the corners for Pittsburgh. Dave Parker at third and Willis Dargell at first. Someday you're gonna, you're gonna be old. Bless your soul. Someday you'll be old. turning at third. Stargell in at second standing and Parker holds at third. He really stroked that so uh, Just over the fencer. But There's there a one. drive. Pretty good Way out, out in the left center. center. Going. Get out of here. You, you betcha. Hey, hat. Give me five. Now all of a sudden it's two to one. Bombs away in Houston. Holy Toledo. Put on a show, Buckos. One gone and here's Stargell. Line drive up the alley right center, splash, splash into the wall. Singleton bobbles, Stargell the second, he'll have to hold right there with a double. So that's two hits for Stargell. Certainly did a tremendous job. Stargell gets Goodwood on this one, chasing Sato back to the fence. Ronnie looks. A home run for Stargell. The count is 2-2 two -two on Willie. Shot to right, base hit. Patience. Great asset. It is set for Willie Stargell. The Expos are beaten again. This time in a six hour rain interrupted marathon that ended at two. Line drive, right field, base hit. Foley's coming home. The throw will come toward the mound. Rose is there to get it. So Foley scores, it's 8-2, to two. Parker's at second, starts... Jack Fisher, an ex-giant, is on the mound for the Mets with Willie Stargell batting for the Pirates in the second. Willie wallops a 350-foot home run into the right field seats for the first hit in Shea Stadium. Stargell also smacked a double and two singles for a very profitable day at the Mets' expense. Where nothing is protected. There's a drive. Way back into center. It is off the top of the fence. Stargell's into second, and the captain has a double, his second hit of the game. He's probably saying, I knew I could Negro get made the mistake of trying to slip a fastball by Willie Stargell. And Stargell crushed it to put the Bucks ahead 2-0. That flared off to the left side, about the same place he got his single the last time. DeSensei can't make the play. It rolls into foul ground, and Stargell stands at second with an off-field double. That's twice. There's a well-hit ball. Look out. That's gone. Way back there, all the way out on Waveland Avenue, or rather on Sheffield Avenue, over the right field wall. That is a home run, and we have a brand-new ball game at Wrigley Field. Too far in the hole. Stargell, team captain. Line drive, right field, base hit. Do it, do it. One run scoring. Two runs are scoring. And the name of the old song, and I'm going to sing it to me, Nellie. They can't take that away from me this time. Hey, hit in the air to deep center field. Bunbury going back, all the way back at the fence. Gone. He can hit it out anywhere. 
So the great man comes through and gives the Bucks an early lead, his second home run of the World Series. Dead center field, about 410 feet on the fly. There's a base hit to right center field. It may be in the gap. It is. It's going to go in there and pass his pass. He's on his way. Marshall with a lead. Scarge will blast one into right center. No one's going to get it, and it may be gone, and it is. Into the bullpen for a home run, making it five to nothing. Willie Stargell joins Wilkie Mays and Joe Torrey with a home run. That's the third of the game for the National Leaguers, and it's a five to nothing ball game. With four of the runs, by the way, having been scored with two men out. Get out to the left side. Renicky on his horse. Going, going, going. He won't get it in off the wall. And Willie Stargell pounding in to second base with a double. Stargell tonight, a single. A double, a home run, a double. How about that? Game. Willie Stigel did it again, hitting two home runs, driving in three. When the series was over, the Pirates were in first place thanks to Willie Stigel, who played with the spirit of a man half his age. It's in Lowlich's prime at Detroit. It's Stigel, it's a 1 1 pitch. By a diving down, out into right center field for a base hit. So here in the second inning, as was the case in the first... Puts the this one away in the seats. It'll be the 400th of his career. Willie won't catch Hank Aaron, but he'll pass a lot of other great sluggers in the game's history before he's ready to call it a career. And what a career. home stand, they're 2,172,000. There's a liner to right and a base hit. He just hung out a rope to McBride. McBride, who was the pinch hitter in the seventh and stayed in the game. That one's gone. Home run. However, where he was a great basketball player. Hit fair, down into the right field corner. Foley headed toward third as Ken Singleton plays it in the corner, and they will hold Foley at third on a double by Stargell. Hit high, hard, and Good deep, time. and so long. It's a 5-4 ball game. You can get Stargell for a while, but sooner or later. Right now, this game is clearly in the pattern of the Pittsburgh team during the whole second half of the season. Tanner using relief the pitch. This inning. There's a ground ball to short. Skipped by the Langer in the left field. Stargill's on to lead off the eighth inning. Not everybody on both teams seems to have some cold. That's looped out into short left field. It's going to drop base hit Willis Stargill. He takes a big swing at first. He's going to second as the ball gets away. It's again reached down deep. With that home run, Willie surpassed Honus Wagner as the Pirates' all-time RBI man. But more important, Stargell gave Pittsburgh the lead. Infield up a double play depth. The pitch to Stargell, a high deep drive. Hit back into deep right center, and it's going to be out of here for a three-run home run. Willie Stargell explodes one out of here to deep right center field. And with two teammates aboard, the Pittsburgh Pirates jump out in front five to two. In Pittsburgh, farewell to Willie Stargell and a career of memories. Batting leadoff in the final game, Pops went out with a bang or base hit against the Expo. Change up that you've seen so much of tonight. Hit well, right field. Singleton to the wall, and it's this ball gone. is gone. Willie Stargell, the big man. Seven times he had come to the plate in this series with runners in scoring position and fell. But suddenly, and we said this would be a testing inning for the young southpaw, Suddenly, with one swing in the race 
in the wake of Robinson's bad hop single, turns it around for the moment.